Hello and welcome to the next episode of our mini-series talking about the different ways of doing a muzzle flash by using iMovie. And we upload a new way of doing a muzzle flash every day of the week, all week long. So yesterday's episode was how to do muzzle flashes in iMovie using picture-in-picture. Picture. Today we're going to show you a slightly different technique and one that may fit other situations a little bit better. It can be a little bit harder, but it can also make it look a lot better. So first off, open up iMovie, click on Preferences, go to the General tab, and make sure the Show Advanced Tools box is checked. This will allow you to use things like Picture in Picture and Green Screen. So if you need some footage to practice, don't worry. Go to my YouTube channel homepage and click on the side right here where it says Free Movie Assets. It'll take you to a photo bucket account. And on this photo bucket account, we'll have a whole bunch of movie elements that you can use for free. I would appreciate if you gave me credit and put a link in the description or something if you use one of these in your video. But I don't require it, of course. I would just highly appreciate it. So we're going to be looking at these muzzle flashes here. This is where you can get some of those. And if you need video footage, you can download this one. The way to download is you click on one that you like, go to Options, and then click Download. You do not need to sign in. You don't need to make an account. Just download it. Don't forget to download a muzzle flash as well. Now what you downloaded are .png files. Now a quick explanation for that for those of you that are just joining us. A .png file is basically a picture that retains its see-through properties. It's just like a picture, except it's .png, and you can see through the pictures. So now, grab this .png file and drag it in the exact spot that you're going to be doing the muzzle flash. Let go, and instead of doing picture in picture like last time, click cut away. Now, that's a really big muzzle flash, isn't it? Now, don't worry, we're going to fix it. When you double click on it, make sure you change the duration to 0.1 because we can't make it any shorter time. That stuff that we discussed last episode. We need to get rid of that Ken Burns effect. Now what's the Ken Burns effect? As you can see, it slowly shrinks and grows from one side of the screen to the other. That's the effect we're going to get rid of. So click on the little gear and go to cropping and rotation. Hit crop. If your muzzle flash is pointing the wrong way, you can always use these arrows to flip it around. Now what are we going to do with this box? This box is going to help us line up the muzzle flash with the barrel of the gun. Now I can adjust where the muzzle flash appears through the cropping and rotation. Things you got to remember, as the crop box gets smaller, the muzzle flash gets bigger. Now one other issue is I'm trying to make this as big as possible so the muzzle flash is as small as possible. If I hit done the muzzle flash is still ridiculously big. The issue for that is actually the dimensions of the .png file. What we need is a muzzle flash that is really small with a lot of blank space all around it. Okay now here is a different muzzle flash. As you can see it's a lot tinier with a lot more black space. It still has a clear background, so it's still good. So what we're going to do now is exactly what we did before. Grab that muzzle flash and put it right where the recoil happens. Instead of picture in picture, hit cut away. And there we go, it's already close to the center of the screen. Now this muzzle flash is available on the photo bucket account so you can practice with it too. So what we're going to do is hit the little gear, cropping and Ken Burns in rotation, hit the crop. And now we're going to use these crop boxes to move the muzzle flash around the screen. So you can see it's already pretty close there. Just keep practicing it, just keep moving it, it needs to go higher and lower. Now we need to make sure the duration again is at point 0.1, so double click on it, 
Yes, it's at point one. Now we're going to work on the same things as before. Instead of having cut away fade at none, hit it manual. That means it will fade in just like before instead of just be a solid appearance. For video effect, apply one of these. For this one, I might go hard light. Now we're not quite done yet. One difference that this has versus picture in picture is we have opacity right here. And we can scroll that around the screen to get different levels of brightness for the photo. So now it doesn't glow at us so much as before. And it might provide a little bit better effect. So again, we're going to take that segment, just like we did yesterday, right click on it, hit cut, right click in between, hit paste, double click the segment, go to video effect, click glow, so it brightens the room as the muzzle flash goes off. Last thing we add is the sound effect, click on the music note at the bottom, Go to your sound library. I have a playlist called Sound Effects. I type in the search bar what I need. Glock, drag that, put that in place. Now we can export our result. Now one thing you have to remember is when you tell iMovie to play, it might not even play. It might not even show it. It'll just whiz right by. It might even freeze. This is normal completely normal if you export the video it'll look just fine the reason why that happens is iMovie is not a very powerful program there's more info about that in the description if you are still concerned about it but it is completely normal so I'm gonna export this right now show you the result and tomorrow we're gonna talk about how do you make your own .png files using Photoshop specifically I will be using Adobe Photoshop CS5. So I hope you join us tomorrow so you can learn how to remove black backgrounds from photos. Now this, now the technique I will also show tomorrow doesn't only remove black backgrounds, but you can select any color specifically. Again, this is an iMovie muzzle flash special, so I will be using a muzzle flash. See you guys tomorrow. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.